hey y'all welcome back to the vlog all right so we are about to uh this is way later in the week um today is friday and me and my husband are about to start putting um the rest of the shelves together for our closet that we're building so we're gonna go ahead and take y'all along with that process so right now um he is putting the um second shelf together so once we get it together and we get it um built then i'll go ahead and show you guys uh how we're putting them in um building them is pretty pretty easy um but i'll go ahead and give y'all a quick uh overview of him putting them together i'm not gonna be talking so i'll do that has um i'll just have some music playing or something while he's doing that but i'll show you guys how he's putting the shelves together and then um i'll go ahead and just do a montage on that um and then we'll i'll come back and then we'll um we'll show you how how we're putting them in the closet so stay tuned and i'll be right back Okay, y'all, so we're in the closet and he's going ahead and putting the bottom piece together first. And um, he's uh, inserting the pegs in and then he'll go ahead and put the screws in. So it's fairly easy. The directions are not very clear, so you kind of got to use common sense when you're putting these together. Too. But once you get the hang of it, it's fairly easy. Kind of self explanatory at that point. Now he's putting the screws in. Now we're using a drill. You can use a screwdriver if you don't have a drill and a screwdriver uh, will work just as good as well. It's probably a little bit more work, but it'll, it'll do the trick also if you don't have a drill. We've been kind of rotating back and forth from screwdriver. between the screwdriver and the drill to make sure that the screws are in tight because uh, some of these holes are not the best that they pre-drill so you got to kind of work with some of them but it'll go Thank you. 
Okay, so we got the uh, second bookshelf uh, together, and this is what it looks like. So this is what the second bookshelf is looking like. So now uh, my husband is just about to put the back on, uh, which is right here. And then we'll turn it around. You always want your raw edges to face towards the wall. So we're putting the back on and then we'll turn it around. And then um, I'll come back and show y'all how we are going to mount it to the wall. So stay tuned. Stay tuned along, y'all. supposed to go on the inside and we just realized that we made a boo-boo but nothing that can't be fixed so stuff like that happens I guess why I'm taking y'all through the process of doing it because stuff like this sometimes will happen people do it all the time I've watched several videos on this and boo-boos like that happen so we're taking the backs off and so we can flip them and put them on the correct way so I just want to show y'all that stuff like that will happen from time to time that's why you have to pay attention and focus on what you're doing because we made a boo-boo we made a boo-boo and i should have caught that but i didn't so all right just wanted to show y'all that we're taking the backs off and then i'll show y'all how they look once we put them back on okay y'all we are back and we have put the second shelf together this is how it looks all right, we did put the bracket up. I forgot to show y'all how the bracket went in, but uh, I'll show y'all the next time how the bracket goes in because I did forget to film it. We had a little bit of a glitch because we had the back on backwards instead of this part showing on the inside. We had the raw edges coming, but this is how it looks. This is how they're coming along so far. Um, I have a little bit of a gap between there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about that. Um, it's the floor because sometimes if the floor is not level, it'll offset your bookshelf. So that sometimes will happen, especially if you're laying them on, if you're um, building them on carpet or a floor like this, that's not all the way um, level. You'll have those gaps sometimes, but you can always cover that with a uh, trim on the outside um, and it'll be fine. I think I'm not gonna pretty much, like I'm not really worried about the trim. I just wanted them to be more like, not level, but symmetric. I don't know if I'm using the word, right word, but anyway, let me get y'all out of my business here. Okay, I'm still gonna need two more bookshelves for this corner right here. So two more will fit comfortably. Remember, I didn't know if I was gonna need two more or three more. So I'm gonna end up needing two more for this area right here, for this wall. So I have those two and two more will fit comfortable right there. So that'll be perfect. And I may have like a little bit of a gap on the uh, end right here, but that's fine. That's why I left the bracket. So we're finna start on my husband's side over here, putting his up and his is gonna look a little bit different than mine because his setup is gonna be different, you know, for what he wants. So when we get his uh, together, I'll come back and I'll show y'all how that's gonna look. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we got the third one put together. Let me step back. We got the third one put together. This is what it's looking like. This is on my husband's side. Right here. Okay. And now, and we put we, we did put the back on right this time. 
So this is what it's looking like on his side. And um, now we're gonna put the bracket up top. See, now his is gonna be a little bit different because he's measuring for his bar in the middle. So he'll know where to put the next uh, shelf at. put in because there's no stud on that one and we couldn't hit a stud so we had to put one of these in and then put the screw in so it doesn't come out of the sheetrock and you don't have it tilting over so in case you don't hit a stud make sure you put these in first then put your screw in so that way your your shelf won't tilt over and the screw won't come out of the sheetrock so that's what we just did and that's how it looks Okay, y'all, so this is what it's looking like so far inside of the closet. When you walk in, you have the three shelves here. This is what it's looking like so far. Um, on this side, I'm only gonna be able to put three over here. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna leave this open and I'll have that like a little cubby hole back here. And then we'll, um, do we'll do two here so we're gonna do one here one here the this one may have to go over some but we're gonna put those two together and then we'll put three um on this wall right here and do them the same as this wall um right here and i think my husband may end up doing a, a rod in between his i'm not sure if he's gonna do a rod in between his or not. But, um, yep, this is what it's looking like so far. That's what it's looking like so far, y'all. This perfume stand is not gonna stay right here. Um, we're gonna end up taking it out, but we're just leaving it in here for right now. And then we're, we're gonna put our perfumes on the shelves. We're gonna put the shelves in here. So I'll have my uh, perfume on my side, his cologne on his side. And then um, at the bottom, I'm gonna put um, a rod to hang clothes. And then here, it'll be a rod to hang clothes. These shelves are gonna be, um, that shelf is coming out. And then, um, I'm probably gonna have a rod here to hang clothes, or I may just leave that has a shelving. I'm not sure yet, but um, it's coming together. It's coming together. I don't really know how I wanna do it yet. I may just have all my hanging clothes at the bottom. I just may do all hanging stuff at the bottom, to be honest with y'all. I don't know yet. We're still figuring it out, but so far, this is how it's looking um and yeah so it's coming along so we still got a whole nother wall to do i gotta go get three more bookshelves to put in but so far this is what it's looking like y'all and then up at the top uh that's where i'm gonna put my purses so i have purses um 
lined up at the top of the, uh, you know, sitting on the shelves at the top. So we're still trying to figure out what design we want to go with, but I'll be back and we'll show you guys um, more of the progress um, in a few. We'll be back. Thank you.